Hi everyone, I'm Susie from Strong Art Dolls and Marionettes. Welcome to my very first DIY how-to project. I've made this specially for Valentine's Day coming up, but this is also a project you could you could create something for someone you care about, a special gift, a baby or a child a birthday gift. It's really simple. It's a mobile with four hearts that spell out the word love, L-O-V-E. Of course you could spell anything you like on this, a name, it doesn't really matter. It's just for fun. And on the back of each heart is a really cute little happy face. So you can have them, you can hang it on a, a window, you can see both sides or use it as a wall decoration or over a bed as a mobile. Uh, from the website as a PDF. If you have any problems, um, just contact me via the, uh, by the, by the blog, we'll leave a comment and uh, I'll be happy to, uh, to get in touch. Have fun, uh, I'll get started now and show you how to put all the pieces together. Okay, so I've threaded my needle with some cotton and I've got it double so it gives a nice solid line when we've stitched it. And I'm going to start by attaching this white felt to the orange felt. And I'm going to do the back stitch here so it gets a nice running stitch. You can see it across here. A nice even stitch around there in a straight line. So I'm going to start by putting the needle in. It doesn't matter where you start. Pull it through. I'm going to make my first stitch. And then I'm going to bring it straight back up again. Okay, so now we've got a gap. This is where the back stitch comes in. You actually go backwards, take it back to the next point. Put it through. So we've got a gap again. And there's our stitch. Okay, so I've done my stitching all the way around and attached the piece of white felt. Now it's time to do the face. Because it's pretty simple. So I haven't drawn anything on, I'm just going to make it up as I go along. But if you feel a bit more confident by um, drawing it on first, you can do that and stitch over it. It's also going to be really simple stitching. Basically just going to make two stitches for the eyes. I'm going to take a fairly big stitch and then I'm going to come back in. Something like that there. And, oh, and join it up in, in the middle smiling eye. I'm going to go over that twice to make it nice and dark. Okay. And just to make sure it doesn't move from there, I'm also just going to knot it on the back. A single knot in. I'm not too fussy about how the back looks. I'm going to put a little nose on here, somewhere in the middle there. Okay, just one little stitch across there for a nose. I made sure I put plenty of cotton on my needle because it's really annoying when you've got two or three stitches to go and you run out of cotton. So I put plenty on. Okay, and then the mouth is just like the eyes, except the other way up. And then I'm going to turn it around. Just check that you've got everything in the place that you want it. I think that looks quite cute. And I'll turn it over and put a knot in the back. Okay, now we're putting on the cotton heart on the inside of the other side of, of our heart. What I've done with this cotton, just to make sure it doesn't fray because it's not edged, is I've put this fray check around the edge of the cotton, so it stops, and obviously it stops it fraying. Really handy stuff. Okay, so this stitch, I don't know what it's called, uh, it's kind of like a blanket stitch. I'm just putting it around here really just to hold the edges down. We're also going to put the letter over the top so it will be very firm. I've chosen a contrasting colour because I like bright colours. But you can choose a colour that matches them if you want to. Now this stitch is really, really simple. It's just quite big stitches. It gives it a kind of a, a country rustic look. And you just go all the way around the edge. Now we've got this uh, completely stitched around, knotted on the back, nice and secure. I'm going to put the, the letter on. This is the second one of my hearts. I've already got the L, so I'll do that though. 
I don't want it all to be perfectly straight, so I'm going to put this on a, on a funny angle just to add a bit of interest to it. When I'm happy with where it's going, I'm just going to start stitching. But this one I'm going to do a different kind of stitch. This is a tidy little back stitch. We already did the, did the back stitch on the face. I'm going to do the same thing on here, but I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Now remember this is all hand stitch. We don't really want these to look like sewing machine stitches, so don't worry if they're not perfectly straight or if they're all different, slightly different sizes, because it just adds to the character of it. And I think it makes it look a lot more uh, interesting and handmade. So just make them as neat as you can, but they don't have to be you know, really perfect. So everything's attached on both sides of the heart. Now the fun part, I'm going to put them together and stuff them. Now, don't forget, I've put the string on already because it goes on the inside and if you forget to do it afterwards, it's a bit messy. So blanket stitch, again, it's a little bit like when we were putting the cotton layer on. You're pulling it through, but this time I'm going to put the needle through the loop so that it makes a knot. And then I'm going to tie that, pull it. Now the first one's going to look a bit funny. I'm going to come in again from the front, straight through both layers, and pull it through until there's a loop, and then put the needle through the loop and make a knot. And there's the first bit of blanket stitch. I'm going through the front, pull it all the way through. a lot of cotton on here because I don't want to run out halfway around and pull it through. So you can see you get this edge around the outside of the heart. So when it's finished you get the stitches on the sides and then right around the edge you get this nice tidy little row of uh, stitches. Okay so I'm going to carry on around the edge and I'll come back when it's time to put the stuffing in. Okay and so I've stitched most of the way around I've left a hole here at the top. I haven't done anything special here, I've just stopped stitching. And when it's filled, I'll just carry on around the top. So we're not going to fill it up really uh, a lot. We just want to pat it out a bit and make it look nice and cute and fluffy. So I'm just putting in some, I've just got some light fibre, artificial fibre filling here. It's not heavy, it squishes in well. And I'm pushing it up into the curves of the heart as well, so it makes it look nice and rounded. And I think that's probably enough. Once it's in and you've stitched it, you can flatten it out a bit and maybe I'll just leave it here, spread it a bit inside. Make it even. Okay, when you're happy with having that you've got enough in there, just push it all in a bit. You can close it up. And keep that string out of the way. And just keep stitching around with the blanket stitch until the whole thing is closed. Okay, now we've got the heart finished on both sides, joined up, it's filled, it's looking quite cute and round and fluffy. Now it's time to put the beads on. So what I've done here of course is use these felt beads that I made. I've needle felt with these and I might make another movie on how to uh, how to make these. But you can use any kinds of beads. Um, Glass ones would be nice, shells would be pretty. Um, because I'm using the beads and I'm threading them on with the needle onto the cotton, I've made a little knot here so it doesn't go all the way down the cotton. Okay, and I'm going to take my first bead. I'm just going to thread it through and push it down the cotton. done here to attach it, I've actually just stitched it through, I've got a stick out of the garden and I, I wet felted it so it blends in quite well with the, with the beads and then I've just stitched through to attach these strands and I've got a nice gold thread to hang it from and that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed my very first DIY and I hope you come back for some more. If you haven't got it already make sure you go to my website and download the patterns and have fun.